Welcome to our virtual tip-off as we get ready for the Belmont basketball season. I'm Kevin Ingram coming to you from the Belmont Locker Room at the Kirby Event Center, brought to you by H.G. Hill. Coming up in the next few minutes, we're going to hear from coaches Casey Alexander and Bart Brooks. We'll hear from Bruin basketball players Conley Chen and Grayson Murphy, so it's going to be a lot of fun. First up, though, a word from Belmont Athletics Director Scott Corley. Thanks, Kevin. Well, hello, Bruin fans and sponsors. Never in my wildest dreams that I think I'd be sitting here in November doing a virtual tip-off luncheon. Uh, the tip-off luncheon's historically been one of our best attended events, and it's a great prelude into the upcoming basketball season. And just want to let you know how much I miss you guys uh, not being able to do this in person. Uh, the last time I probably saw a lot of you guys was we were celebrating in Evansville an amazing victory over Murray State. Um, so obviously a lot has changed in the past eight months, but instead of kind of dwelling on some of the challenges that we faced in that time, I did want to highlight some of the things that have been re-emphasized in the past eight months. Uh, first off, I'm blessed to have that Murray State memory. Uh, a lot of programs didn't get to play and, and win their conference championship. I, I've been reminded uh, how much I miss watching our student athletes compete as no student athletes have been competing in the fall. And, that, and that's truly the highlight of my job. I, I have learned or been reminded that I truly have the best staff and the best head athletic trainer in the country in Kim Anderson. Uh, the amount of time and effort they've put in uh, to get us to this point as we prepare for the season has truly been amazing. I'm continually reminded how great our coaches are and uh, the professionalism and understanding that they've shown during these uncertain times has been amazing. And, and I very much appreciate it as an AD, uh, the amount of work that they've put in to make sure uh, that they are doing things, following protocols and ensuring that we're doing things in a safe manner for the student athletes is, has been remarkable to see. I'm reminded how resilient our student athletes are and how much they want to compete. And then lastly, and maybe most importantly, I've been reminded of how loyal our fans, donors, and sponsors have been and continue to be. And so I can't thank all of you enough for the support that you continue to show during these challenging times. We continue to work closely with the OVC, with the university, and with Metro Health to figure out what our seating capacity and plans will be. We will be making the change to mobile ticketing. I know that's a big change, but in the spirit of safety, we think that's the right decision. Uh, we will also be reevaluating concessions, Bruin Club, and, and suite holder protocols. Obviously, once we have those details ironed out, we will be communicating that to each of you. So please be on the lookout for an email with that type of information. And obviously, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to call our ticket office. In closing, I just want to thank everybody for their continued support, uh, all our fans, all our season ticket holders, and our sponsors. Uh, we, we need you now more than ever. Uh, you know, and as I look forward to the season, you know, while things may be different, the one thing that I can promise you is that, that our teams are going to compete the same way they've always competed, and they're gonna to continue to represent Belmont University in a first-class fashion. Uh, so with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the program as you hear from uh, Casey and Bart, and as always, go Bruins. Welcome back to our virtual tip-off as we get ready for the Belmont basketball season. Kevin Ingram joined by junior forward Conley Chin out of Jackson, Mississippi. Started 29 games last year, averaged seven points and four rebounds. Ready to go for another year? Oh yeah, of course. Does it seem like it's been the longest off season ever just trying to uh, trying to get here and ready to play? I mean, it really has. Uh, Coach Bart, a couple months ago in practice before we started going five on five, was like, when was the last time you guys we're on the court playing against each other and it wasn't, it had been March, you know, and didn't get, get, get back into it till September. As far as getting ready for the season, doing the workouts and the on-court stuff, I mean, how hard was that to, during a time when you're away from campus and away from your teammates? I mean, it was really hard because it's just, you can't uh, replicate playing on the court with your teammates. Like you can do your best to get shots up and to work on ball handling, but nothing replicates game. So that was tough for sure. And 
just staying motivated without, you know, knowing what was going to happen with the season or if it was even going to happen. Sure. Uh, it was hard to be motivated to get up every day and go work out. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. As far as the, the schedule, we just got word of that here in the last couple of days. Was that part hard too, not knowing, you know, really who you're going to be playing or when or all that stuff? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we always try to focus on ourselves and just getting our team ready for whatever comes up in our schedule. Uh, but, you know, when parents are asking, like, what are y'all going to do? Or friends asking what games they can come to and things like that. It is difficult. And, you know, we had a schedule that we thought we may have and then didn't know if some games would work out, what games we would miss. So... It was a little difficult, but you know, we practice every day just to make ourselves better. The non-conference is pretty tough. Those three games to start uh, beginning at Kentucky, that's kind of exciting to, to begin the season up there, huh? Yeah, it's really exciting. I always love playing SEC teams and uh, really challenging our team because I think, I think it says how much confidence Coach Bart has in us that we can go compete against, you know, those higher level teams. How much motivation is there for this season, for this team? Going out early in the OVC tournament is not something you guys are used to after so much success. How much does that fuel you going into this year? Well, I think it, it's fueled us leaders on the team this year because, you know, we came into such a winning team, a great, hardworking team. And Coach Bart always says, you know, just because you put on the jersey that says Belmont doesn't mean you automatically win. You know, there's hard work that gets put into it and leadership and effort. So that was a wake up call for us that you know, we're not just going to be handed an OVC championship just because we're from Belmont. It's what we have to bring to practice every day. So I think just that wake up call is what uh, drives us every day now. Still had a great season last year, won the OVC regular season. How cool has it been to be, be part of so much success in this program? I mean, it's been so much fun. It, it definitely, you know, we have pride when we put on our jerseys and it's just been a lot of fun to play for a team that, with girls that work so hard and are willing to lay it all on the line, you know, to, to win and to be successful. How much is it on you guys, you know, the, the players who've been for, here for a while, as leaders to, to bring the others along and get ready? It's been really exciting. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's a different role, you know. We can't just focus on ourselves and practice anymore and us proving ourselves. We have to. We have to focus on our team and what to do for our team. And uh, so that's been definitely an adjustment, but I really enjoy it. I, I know my team and the leaders on this team love taking on that role. And we all want to be the best leader we can, especially to these younger girls, because you can't imagine coming into college like this right. with everything sure. going on and not having the June summer sessions to really build that team relationship uh, on the court and then in the locker room. So them not having that has really touched our hearts. And so we've really wanted to reach out and make this experience as good as it can be. Thanks for the time. Here's uh, hoping for a safe and uh, successful season for the Bruins. Thank you. All right, that's Conley Chen going into her junior season with this Belmont program. We're coming back with more of our virtual tip off after this. Welcome back. Our virtual tip-off continues getting ready for the basketball season and joined by Belmont coach Bart Brooks. Going into year number four, 22 wins last season, an OVC regular season title. Add another one to the collection. Uh, just done a great job here. Just glad to get ready for the season finally after the, the longest offseason anybody can remember. Uh, I tell you what, having our, our players back on campus when we got them back this fall, it was um, unbelievably grateful for every person in this university that worked so hard to get us get us back to this place and um, being away from them all summer you know you you'll miss them during the summer but man this summer it was a different level of um, really being away from each other that bonding and we didn't get to have the the end of the year banquet like we normally have and some of those some of those things that kind of put a bow on last year's season we don't feel like we we ever really got that closure and um, and then to get them back on campus together and now we're practicing and you know the the weather's getting a little colder and yeah. the, the, it's it's basketball season so it's it's exciting and um it's here how challenging is it 
or was it for everybody just to get in the work they needed to get ready? You know, because you know so much of weightlifting and workouts and, and the on-court stuff that goes on between one season and the next season, that, that was very limited, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and, that, and that's the foundation. And, and you really have to build that foundation to put your body through the, the rigors of a college basketball season. It is a grind. And, uh, you know, just you playing, you know, 30, 32 games, it takes a toll on your body. And to put your body in, in position to withstand that grind, you've got to lay a great foundation. And that happens in June, July, August. And our players are home and they're, you know, they're running on concrete and, you know, they're, they're doing jumping jacks in their living room and they're doing everything <laughs> they can uh, to put their bodies in condition. But there's nothing that replaces basketball. It, it was interesting. We had one player on our roster who was able to play a full court basketball game between March when we left and between uh, September when we got back. So, I mean, that just to put that in perspective, none of our players have ever had a break like that uh, since they started playing. So it's been it's been slow getting everyone physically conditioning, all of that stuff, getting the pieces um, in place so we can be successful this year. But I, I'm so proud of how they've competed and how they've worked to get their bodies ready. And, you know, hopefully hopefully that'll show itself at some point this season because they've worked hard. And just getting to know one another. I, I know it's been a lot of Zoom calls, hasn't it? Where, whereas normally you'd have some you know, team events where you'd, you know, players that are coming in would get a little feel for their, their new teammates. Yeah, and that's um, such a big part of our, our summer program is our freshmen getting a chance to bond with upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right now that bonding has happened largely in Zoom. And, you know, now being on campus, we're able to, to get some of that done in practice. Um, but that connection, that togetherness, the team, I, I think something that our program is really known for is, is the, the culture and the togetherness of our players. Uh, that's been really hard to do. We've had to be really intentional with how we've done that this year. And a lot of credit goes to our upperclassmen. Um, we've got a great group of seniors and, and redshirt juniors who have helped lead the way with that. But it's, um, you're right, that's been a challenge. That's probably been more challenging than the physical challenges. What about putting together a schedule? Uh, you're gonna have 20 conference games. The non-conference is gonna be difficult to start. Play at Kentucky, play at Middle, and then play at Auburn. Uh, that, that's a nice test for you, and we'll get you ready for OVC play, which is gonna come sooner than it normally would. Yeah, you're right about that. And I think always my my goal with our, our non-conference schedule is to, to put our players in the most difficult, challenging situations I can, because I think that's gonna show um, that's going to show us what we need to fix, what we need to work on. And, you know, looking back to last season, we, we dealt with some early injuries and we, we took some butt kickings in last year's non-conference schedule. But those, those difficulties, that adversity, I think ultimately shaped our team to be able to handle the adversity that came at us later in the year and, you know, helped us get ourselves to another OVC championship. So uh, really what I'm trying to do is prepare them for everything that's going to be thrown at them and, I don't know that we're we're going to be ready for anything that Kentucky throws at us because the first time we're going to play against someone in a different jersey is, is November 29th at Kentucky. So it's going to be a great opportunity to go play a really talented, really good basketball team uh, on the road and see uh, see what we're made of and see who's ready to compete and see what we need to fix and work on from there. This team, this program has been such a good shooting program. Is that one area you looked at in the offseason and says that, that that's something we have to get better, plus maybe the, the assist to turnover ratio too? Yeah, and, and um, you know, shooting the ball is such a, a fragile thing. You know, the, the, sometimes the more you talk about it, the worse it gets. And some <laughs> coaches, you know, you can't say anything to certain players, and some players you need to say something or it gets worse. And it's a, it's a really unique thing, I think, yeah. to each player. But, um, we shot a lot of threes last year, and, and for the number that we shot, we'd like to make a little more than we did. And so that's something that um, I think it's something that you recruit, but I also think it's something that we uh, we talked a lot about shot selection and at some point um, making better decisions, taking shots uh, you know, in the first five seconds of a clock that we could get at any time of the possession, and maybe that wasn't a great decision. So some of that's decision making as much as it is you know, the ability to make shots. Um, that's something that we need to improve, and then also that the assist to turnover thing. That's um, you know, if we make more shots, we get more assists. Yeah. And we also, uh, I think, what we've done is we've added depth to the guard position. Last year we were really thin at guard, and 
you know, Jamelin had to play a lot of minutes as a, as a point guard for us, and Maddie Cook did a great job as a backup uh, in that role last year. And I think we're going to add guard depth this year that will help us with that number as well. Does it feel like just getting that first game and, and playing a first game, and getting the season started, will be a victory in itself? I tell you what, if we if we can get off of that bus and they let us get on that court and play, it is just going to be. I think everyone's just going to look around and just take a deep breath and just enjoy enjoy the moment because sure. it still feels like it's you know out there somewhere uh -huh. uh, that it's it's not really right in front of us. Um, and there's, uh, I'm just, I, I guess I'm blown away by all the hard work. Uh, you know, Scott Corley, Renee Schultz, uh, Kim Anderson, who is an unbelievable um, trainer, who's now an expert on all things COVID. Right. And that happened, you know, that had to happen like that. And all the work that those guys have put in to giving us this opportunity to play, I just hope we can get to that place where we can play because they've worked way too hard uh, for all of us to, to not get a chance to go play. Is the beard staying for the season? I'm, I'm a beard guy. Yeah. I worked too hard on this beard to just turn it away. <laughs> I mean, this is something that I, uh, I kind of got used to not shaving after about a month of my uh, licking my wounds after the SEMO loss in, in quarantine. Uh, you know, I didn't shave for about a month and then I thought, you know what, just kind of get used to this. Yeah. And uh, my wife hasn't, she hasn't left, left the house or, you know, demanded a shave yet. So until that happens, I think it's going to be be here to stay. Yeah, you've neatened it up a little bit since the uh, clash I of the curve. every now and yeah, then. You yeah, you had the, uh, the yeah. castaway look going. That was, Casey yeah, that was, uh, that was a rough day for all of us. <laughs> Bart, thanks so much for the time. Good luck, and here's hoping for a, a great season ahead. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. All right, that's Bart Brooks, the Belmont women's team, getting ready for this upcoming season, and we will have more of our virtual tip-off in just a moment. We're in the Belmont locker room, joined by junior guard Grayson Murphy, getting ready for this 2020-21 season. Does it seem like it's taken forever just to get here? Yeah, it has. Um, it's been a long, you know, sort of two months for us, um, following protocol and everybody in quarantine or not. So yeah, just getting in the gym as much, much as possible. How challenging was it just to get in the work that you need to, to, to get ready for a season, whether it's the workouts or the on-court work, all of that stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a hard process. Um, our team is, you know, going through the flow of things and just trying to work everything out, whether it's wearing masks or in practice, being social distance or, you know, it's just gym time mainly, just getting in, getting out. And then while we're in the gym, just getting as much work done as possible. Got a lot of uh, veteran players in this team, got some new faces too. How's everybody coming along? Going good. I mean, this off season was a lot different, especially for Belmont. Um, but, you know, just bringing guys in and then people, um, Developing into new roles and accepting those roles is uh, is what we're trying to figure out and work on. You filled up the stat page in pretty much every category you can think of. How do you take another step in this junior season? Um, just I would say just focusing more on um, looking for my shots at times. Uh, I'm still going to be the same player as far as getting people involved and doing my thing defensively and uh, getting as much rebounds to help out the team as possible. But. Uh, if I could change one thing, it's looking to score more. Sure. Your three-pointer, I mean, it's certainly come along over the last couple seasons, you know. How much can that be a weapon for this team? Uh, big time. Um, for me personally, I've been working a lot with uh, Coach Holloway mm -hmm. on being a consistent shooter. But, I mean, that's that's what we're known for is our three-point ball. So it's, we're going to put them up just like every other year. Can you outshoot Coach Holloway? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. He's, he's one of the most <laughs> pure shooters I've ever seen. We, we talked before about your rebounding, and it's not just misses on, on threes that they kick way out. You go in there and get them. What, what, what are some of the keys to being so successful in that? I just find the ball in the air, um, trying to read the ball while it's in the air, where, what position to get in, to get it off the rim, or you know, just kind of get in front of the big guys, boxing out the other team. So sometimes it's lucky. Um, it might just fall in my hands, but just trying to read, read it as much as possible. The uh, schedule is going to be quite a bit different than the normal conference games, almost right out of the shoot. You know, a couple games against TSU early on, and you see Murray early too. H how different is that going to be, knowing that you you got to be ready to roll for those conference games sooner than you normally are? Yeah, like you said, we play TSU. I think it's our fourth game. Um, it's going to be very different. Uh, going to use the three games in the MTU we're playing in to uh, kind of build on momentum to start the OVC early, um, but. Just gotta take a game at a time. Um, we'll be prepared to play every game when we get to that point and just do our best to compete at a high level. It was so difficult not to get to go to the NCAA tournament last year after you, you, you won that 
thrilling championship game. How much does that sort of fuel you to get back and have that opportunity again? Uh, it fuels us a lot. I mean, just we were there. Um, it was a big game for us. Um, but yeah, that's that's our goal every year going into the off season is uh, to compete for championships and get to the NCAA tournament. So I mean, that's still our priority this year and our focus point. Well, here's hoping for a great season. Thanks, Grayson. Good luck. Appreciate it. It's Grayson Murphy, Belmont's All OVC guard. Looking forward to seeing what's ahead in his junior season. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Welcome back to our virtual tip-off. We're getting ready for the basketball season for the Belmont Bruins, and we are joined by second-year head coach Casey Alexander. Does it seem like it's just been a marathon just to get here and, and just be on the verge of actually having a season? Definitely. Uh, you know, you think back to Evansville last March and uh, what all has transpired between now and then, and uh, but it's exciting that we're close to the season starting and games are on the horizon. Was it hard just to, to tear up the schedule and start all over and, and say, okay, we, we got to do something completely different than what we had planned? Yeah, definitely. You know, we had a couple of curveballs. One is when they decided to move the start of the season from the November 10th to the 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, so naturally, we lost four games uh, during that two-week window. And then, and then when Orlando was canceled, which is where we were going to open, uh, it really, we, ha we almost had to start completely over. But we've got a schedule at least, yeah. so uh, we're ready to go. How did the thing in D.C. come about? Uh, a lot of phone calls and yeah. just searching around. It was such a scramble for so many schools and so many events uh, because things had, um, you know, testing procedures kind of wiped some events out and, uh, and naturally coaches started looking out for themselves and so teams started backing out of events. And so really it was, you know, it was a total scramble of teams trying to find somewhere to play and trying to find somewhere secure and safe where you felt like the event was actually going to take place. Uh, and uh, so we ended up going there. We're excited about it. You got some young guys, but you got some veteran guys too. How much is that going to help in a season like this where everything is really uncertain? Uh, well, first of all, I'll say I'm just really pleased with how our players have handled the offseason and, and all of the things that have been thrown their way and disappointments, honestly, uh, one after another, it felt like. But they've They've handled it like true pros and uh, been really mature with um, with their responses, and so I'm pleased with that. And I think that'll carry over into the season. Uh, you know, it's it's odd. Our team, we have no seniors, yeah. you know, but I feel like we have a lot of experience, and so it's um, it's an unusual situation in that regard. And um, but I do like our team. I feel like we'll be well prepared. You know, two of those guys have been around are Moose and Grayson. Uh, what kind of step can they take to be even better than they have been before? I mean, they're just terrific players. Yeah, it's it's honestly probably difficult to ask too much more of them on the floor because they've been so successful already. Uh, certainly, everybody can improve on consistency from game to game, and uh, that's always important, especially as you uh, get older. Uh, yeah. You know, that uh, you shouldn't have the ebbs and flows personally. Uh, but then, uh, you know, I think just a maturity, uh, a leadership uh, that's a little bit more vocal for both of those guys. Uh, they've always had, they've always commanded the room because of their ability to impact games. Uh, now they need to do so because of kind of their clear vision and understanding of what Belmont basketball is and, um, and, and help hold others accountable to that standard. Are you going to have some opportunities to play like really big lineups or play some smaller, faster lineups? I mean, are there some fun combinations to think about? Uh, TBD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, we're thinking about it. I can tell yeah. you that. Uh, yeah. You know, but really, yeah, it, it's amazing how those things. Even with your best planning, um, you know, you have to start playing games and you have to see how people perform and then uh, inevitably you, you settle in on what you think is the best, but it almost never goes according to script. And uh, so we got to prepare for all of it and then just be ready to adapt as we need to. I've heard you say this, I've heard a couple of the guys say this, that even for all the, the success of last year, 26 wins and the, the championships, still didn't feel like you had that that game where you, where everything totally clicked. Is that sort of the challenge as a coach to, to sort of build on that and try to get there? Well, definitely. And, uh, you know, and I, and I think by, I'm going to choose to believe that game is going to be the NCAA tournament. Yeah, oh, right? me too. I mean, yeah. in my mind, that's where <laughs> right. it all came together, but uh, we didn't get that chance. Uh, you know what, it's, it's so hard when you think about last season and a regular season championship, a tournament championship, 26 wins, 12 in a row to finish the year and not feel satisfied. But in, but in a way, I never really felt like we were as good as we could be. And um, and so that leaves me hungry, at least. And sure. I think it probably does our returning players as well. 
family ready for you to be out of the house for a while? I, th I think mine is. No, I have, I have trouble answering a lot of these questions, but I don't have trouble answering that one. Yeah, they're, they're ready for the season to start because they love Belmont basketball and they love when dad is gone with Belmont basketball. I think Coach Bird is looking at us going, hey, y'all have fun with all this? Coach Bird, um, Coach Bird's handicap is pretty steady right now. Yeah. He's not so concerned about this basketball season or how we're doing. Uh, he loves us and he'll pay attention when the time comes, but right now, uh, I guess it's, you know, he's got other things on his mind. Will be a relief when you just get to the opener and step out there and play. Yeah, if we get there yeah. and if we step out there and play, it'll <laughs> right. be a huge relief. Uh, uh, but yeah, you know, I think I think quickly things will feel like they're back to normal in that yeah. regard. Even though we'll be in empty gyms and uh, you know may not have our full traveling party with us, and we may have some radio folks doing it remotely. You know, <laughs> who knows? I might be at home. <laughs> who knows what the heck's gonna happen? Uh, so I don't know if we'll ever get to normal this season, but. You know, the more we're around our team, the more we're practicing, the more we're playing games, uh, the more we're arguing over video yeah. and things like that, the more it'll feel like a normal season. Well, here's hoping for a, another successful year and a safe and healthy one too for our team. Thanks, Casey. Thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our virtual tip-off getting ready for the Belmont basketball season brought to you by H.G. Hill. Looking forward to seeing some hoops coming up in the next few weeks here at the Kirby Vent Center. Go Bruins, it's Bruin time.